Hey everyone, William Miller, National Brands Manager. I'm really excited to take a little bit of time. I know you're really busy right now. I'm here with John Jones. He's our Senior General Manager for all of Cruiser RV. Now, it was really important for me to have you be here because you and your team, you've been spearheading and leading, making sure that 2021 is all about the customer. So we're standing right outside of you know one of the units that you've been working on to revamp. We're with the MPG. Can you just talk a little bit about what you've challenged your team to do going into 2021? Yeah, it's uh, coming out of last year's uh, basically open house, our dealer show. You know, we instantly went to work at Cruiser RV of uh, providing the best looking product that we have in the company's history. So uh, we're standing by our MPG product and uh, MPG took a complete makeover this year. And the reason we did that is because yeah. customers were asking for it and we were excited about the opportunity to make some of the change with our uh, production teams, our designers. So you can see outside, it's a complete new makeover of the product. Uh, we started uh, from, from the dry erase board uh, to uh, what you see today. Uh, worked with our vendors as well. We completely this year redesigned a new front cap. Um, and again, that was something that we heard from our dealer bodies of this, that we can recess our lighting, uh, no discolorization in the lighting, uh, and honestly, just a really clean automotive look on the front of it now. Yeah, I have to tell you aesthetically, you know, it's very clear to me that, you know, you're, you and your team completely redesigned the entire unit. Now, you also have new floor plans, correct? Absolutely, yeah, actually every, floor plan we have out here is new. Uh, this year we'll have a new, it's called the 2720, which is a new double over double bunkhouse that uh, again, customers were asking for. Um, a new uh, couples coach, which is called our 2780RE, which is this one, opposing slides. But the big thing with it is we made it 31 feet, right? A lot of these big opposing slides, they're gonna get in 34, 35 feet. So we wanted to keep it right, that 6,000 pound range. So it's uh, very uh, uh, retail conscious to uh, half ton towable market. Now, John, you were very intentional in some of the changes that happened. And most people would think, oh, it's features and benefits. But, you know, the things that I recognize as we talked about offline and that we're going to talk about a little bit today is with the features and benefits that you want to, you know, highlight, those weren't just creative and out of thought. They were to help solve problems or challenges and they're a direct, you know, culmination of giving the customers what they wanted to prevent and improve uh, their experience with an RV. Absolutely, and let's know, I mean, with so many new buyers with coming into our industry, there's gonna be uncertainties. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, social media and forums that we have uh, are very informative to our customers. And one of the biggest things that we dealt with was, uh, you know, the fear of, uh, hate to say it, it's a bad word in our business, but delamination. So uh, at Cruiser RV, we made a, a, a very valiant effort to protect that value with our brands and our builds. And uh, we switched to a pod, our product called Asdale. Um, and what that is, is it's basically a non-composite. So it's not gonna be able to pick up moisture, which in the past we ran uh, a Luon product, which is a wood-based product. So uh, what that's gonna do is be obviously water resistance, 50% lighter, which definitely goes into our uh, ultralight construction, which we've uh, truly focused our build in, uh, in to be ultralight for that half ton towable market. So it's uh, in game for us is it's uh, definitely a product we can pitch, stand behind, and it's gonna be very beneficial to the retail customer to have longevity with the ownership of a cruiser. John, I have to tell you, I mean, credit to your team because again, the biggest change that you've made, people aren't gonna see at the dealership. And that's, you know, giving you security and buying a product that brings a lot of value, addressing so many issues that come from delamination and water issues. So the fact that you made that change is huge. I think aesthetically, again, people are gonna recognize you've overhauled this entire lineup. Um, there's all new floor plans. What are some of the other features that you wanna make sure came into 2021 that reflect what the customers have wanted? Um, I mean, the big thing with us is, at Cruiser RV, we're a tight-knit family. So with us being such a tight-knit family, we were able to work with our production managers, uh, obviously our designer, uh, and we're extremely excited to show you two new patents that we're actually gonna be launching in 2021. Uh, and you know, basically this idea was brought with us from our plant manager of the MPG product. We all work together uh, pretty seamlessly to be able to show you this option. So, uh, you know, this will be a standard feature on all Cruiser RV products going into uh, 2021. And first of all, what we did is we increased the baggage size uh, to 34 by 19. Obviously you can see the marketing on the side 
side. It's uh, called our full belly storage. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll be able to demonstrate it for you. Okay. Is basically, obviously, you got your magnet holder. And then what you're going to be able to do is flip this door open. And then this storage bin is going to be able to roll out. So a way to address what the customers wanted in more storage? Storage, storage, that. storage. I mean, at the end of the day, our customers can never get enough storage inside of an RV. So I believe the best RVs that are designed today are ones that do not waste any square footage of a unit. So we're actually able to find this space in between the frame rails and be able to develop this box with one of our vendors. So it's a seamless function of going in and out that's just more additional storage. And again, I wanna reiterate, regardless of the floor plans, this is gonna be an option that's available? Nope, standard. Oh, it's standard. It's absolutely okay. gonna be a standard. So, cause it's so important for us to, uh, to show this uh, patent pending feature, which we wanna, the next steps and to protect that and uh, the growth of Cruiser RV and the innovation behind what we do every day. Day. So John, I think the thing that's most impressive to me is not only do you have, you know, a patent pending feature, but you've made sure that it wasn't going to be an option. It was going to be standard. Absolutely. I think that's huge uh, for anybody that's looking to invest in an RV for their family. Um, the other thing, and I want to go back to again, it's one thing to sell, you know, a new layout and it looks shiny. You really put a lot of focus and effort of making sure our tight knit family uh, the Cruiser RV family is buying a product for their family that's going to last a lot, a lot longer. So in addition to the Asdale, I believe that you did something else to further support and prevent water damage. Can you kind of talk about that as well since we're on the exterior? Absolutely. Well, one of the big things is, you know, our, our one of our top features is, uh, is going to be the barreled ceiling, right? So not only the barreled ceiling is going to be able to repel water, right? So it's not a flat surface, has no potential to really keep that water on board with it. Um, so it's obviously going to get built in gutter systems are on the unit as well too, to repel water. Um, and yeah, really our, our features of this is looking for the end customer and that peace of mind that they're going to get with owning a cruiser RV. So to be clear, so for the viewers watching, when we talk about a barreled roof, we're talking about basically that pitch. So by increasing that, it allows that water to repel faster and not you know settle and, and, and puddle. Yep, and, and, and even tell you this factor, because we focus on the ultralight construction. So first of all, we're gonna be five-sided aluminum construction, but even we go farther and we run aluminum stamp trusses. So, okay. but aluminum obviously lays or weighs less than wood. So, uh, and number one, it's gonna to also provide a ton of additional strength with a fully walkable roof. So a lot of times, you know, people pitch the, the roofs in the industry, but being fully walkable to be able to go up there and check your seals and make sure your seals are properly maintained uh, to really, stop water intrusion into the sidewalls, right? Yep, now just one question since we're here at this unit. So obviously this is a bump out. I'm sure there's other terms that we call it in the industry. And there's different methods on how these operate. Um, is there anything just, I guess, more or less than security or saying consistent with you know how we construct these that you'd want to touch on and if anybody chooses to get a bump out model yeah i mean and we we hear all different terminologies dealing with retail customers at our our trade shows bump out tip out slide out so but the the great thing is it's additional living space that you're going to be able to provide to the customer this is again this is a dune 2780 which actually has opposing uh slides which really creates a ton of living space the benefit of what cruiser has done is we offer uh, basically a rack and pinion slide system. So okay. to be honest with you and tell our consumers that there's three different slide systems. There's a cable slide system. There's a, another a, a slide system that runs basically on a rack uh, or on a trailing system. But this has been the Steady Eddie. This is the original uh, slide system that's been used for basically since the beginning of uh, slide out, right? So basically to tell the customer, it's proven technology. We've had great performance out of it. And if anybody has any concerns, we haven't made any changes. We're sticking to what works. Couldn't have said it better myself. So uh, yeah, you pretty much hit it on the head there and it's uh, obviously manual override. So it gives the customer peace of mind whether they're going on uh, a far trip, which we know our consumers now are, are traveling farther, staying out longer and enjoying the RV lifestyle. So. Awesome. So why don't we, now that we know that you've added more protection for your customers down the road after the purchase, why don't we step inside and see you know, all the new things that you made sure were included in 2021. Absolutely, and then uh, you also could see we're gonna be really solid walking in with our uh, our Moride uh, solid steps too. So this is a little bit crazy to me. Um, so, I mean, the viewers can probably tell, you and I, 6'3", 
260 plus. We don't fit into, you know, a little pair of pants. I wish I was 260. You know, I, I mean, honestly, I, I'm not kidding. The, so this is the biggest I've ever seen in a travel trailer that could be used with most SUVs. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, and this one, our focus was 31 feet. Again, when you're looking at our competition or like floor plans that are in the industry today, they're 34, 35, 36. So we really wanted to be able to provide a floor plan with this much functional living space and still realistically be half ton towable in that 6,000 pound range. But again, with your focus being on the customer and you talked about that barreled roof, getting that water away. Absolutely. Now I'm seeing the benefit from aesthetics this is the highest ceiling I've ever seen. Absolutely. In a travel trailer, we're 6'11", right? So big guys like us that are standing in here, uh, we can see the true benefit, right, of uh, having that ceiling height that doesn't feel as claustrophobic. Because let's be honest, you don't want to spend all your time in a, a travel trailer when you're at a campsite. It's about getting outdoors. But at the end of the day, if you do catch a rainy day, wow, it's convenient and comfortable to be able to have uh, this much space and uh, feel not claustrophobic in a unit. But I'm just very confident that any of the customers when they go to the cruiser RV dealers across the country gotcha. the first thing they're going to recognize right away because when you're looking at you know accommodating for your family of four or whatever when they're going to see this much head clearance and space and they don't have to go and spend $55,000 on a one-ton pickup that really matters so I think that you know again even though I'm comfortable in here and I can't believe how big it is to me, it's the value that you really focused on delivering to the customers in 2021. Um, and I think a lot of people are really gonna be impressed with, with the amount of space. Absolutely, all in space, the new look. I mean, it's the, uh, 2021's the year of Cruiser RV. Uh, we've definitely focused our attention into new redesigns of the interior, uh, clean, you know, just clean. We weren't trying to, you know, try stuff that was too risky. We wanna appeal to the masses. We all, again, we know we're achieving a bunch of new buyers this year with uh, everything that's happened in 2020 uh, and we're excited but as good as anything is you need a strong foundation sure. so uh, also our products are built on these oversized frames and even the what we're standing on now we build 5 8 tongue and groove plywood on all of our cruiser products so benefit of uh, plywood versus OSB is just the the construction value of it of how it's uh, built in this and it's just it's a more expensive product but we're not tripping over dollars to pick up pennies at Cruiser RV and we're we're doing everything we can to build the best product for our customers today. Yeah, I honestly, I give credit to you and your entire team. You guys have done a phenomenal job with this 2021 uh, redesign. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe it. We don't need a one ton pickup for this. Yeah, no, it's uh, being 31 feet in that 6,000 pound range. This but Yeah. Can we talk a little bit uh, again and this is where I'm just, I'm really impressed. You could have, you know, nickel and dimed everybody, but you wanted to push to raise the bar on what's standard. I'm sitting in a theater seat. Now, is this going to be available for, as an option for some of the models? Can you talk a little bit about, aside from how much room we have, basically what comes standard? Uh, for all of these models. So with this uh, this floor plan, um, we know we're obviously have an optional for almost all of our floor plans for a theater seat. Uh, but this one, you know, we wanted to make sure we knocked it out of the park. So that's actually going to be a standard uh, feature in every one of these 2780 REs, as well as the eating table and metal bracket that's on. And you can actually check that. You can actually rotate that. Wow. So the awesome benefit of, you know, this, a lot of times you have dinette tables, you can't get up or if it's this, so that's, that's going to be also a, a big feature for it. And then new to this year too, is going to be a, a sound bar system. So that's actually a four speaker sound bar system. Uh, uh, we partnered with some of our uh, awesome vendors. And uh, again, we spent the money to build, provide that to our retail customers. Uh, you have an optional uh, 39 inch TV um, and going on to the standards, like you talked about on the theaters seat we actually uh put a standard fireplace in there and aesthetically it looks amazing but it's actually functional it's 5,000 btus that you're going to be able to uh take the chill off uh on a nice uh, cool morning so um but yeah and this also this theater seat over here is going to be a 70 inch uh basically trifold sofa which this will be a, a memory foam sleeper sofa so the benefit is this is 
considered a couples coach that you're going to be able to use. But if you do have the guests that uh, want to stay over for a long weekend, um, this is going to be able to fold out to a, a full-size bed that will be able for someone to sleep on. Great job. I mean, this is this is phenomenal what you're doing for your customers. Well, and the cool thing, too, is <laughs> it's kind of, uh, you know, of having kids myself. I have a eight-year-old and a three-year-old, but the benefit of what this furniture is, this furniture is actually waterproof. <laughs> wow. And we worked with uh, basically one of our vendors that uh, actually started promoting waterproof furniture. Uh, so with us doing this, uh, you could actually just dump water on it and everything is going to repel. No different than the patio furniture you have on your outside uh, patios. So bring the dogs in, not going to be an issue. Bring the dogs, bring the kids, uh, bring anything. So it is uh, it is a huge benefit for us and we're honored to team up with great partners to provide great product uh, to our customers uh, that buy our product, right? Job well done. Thank you, I appreciate it. So just to remind everybody again, 6'3", 260, I'm looking out the window in a 30-foot travel trailer with a king-sized bed. John, can you kind of talk about everything that you guys have done in regard to innovation and delivering to the customers in 2021? This is remarkable. So as we come in the bedroom, one of the top things that our consumers were stating to us was that everyone wants a king size bed, everyone sleeps better on a king, but realistically the hard thing about a king bed that's 72 by 80, there wasn't enough changing room and there isn't enough room on the sides of our beds to realistically get around. So listening to our retail customers and working trade shows this year, I was able to listen to our consumers and then be able to provide the second patent pending feature for 2021 for Cruiser RV called the King Bed Slide System. What's the benefit of the King Bed Slide System? Is this is actually able to shift all the way over to one side or the other. So basically what it comes down to is you would have 12 inches on each side of the bed, which really isn't enough room. So be able to, sh be able to shift it from left to right. Even a guy that's as big as me, that's 6'3", 220, I'm gonna be able to sit on the bed put on a pair of shoes, stand, and have changing room on every single floor plan for MPG and Cruiser RV. So we're excited to show you this new second patent feature for 2021 for Cruiser RV, and thank you for tuning in.